Hi and welcome to our next work in progress. Um, this time it's going to be showing a painting called the Amion Raid or actually we haven't got a title for it yet but it's going to show the Amion Raid which was um, one of the most famous RAF raids of World War II to, took place on the 18th of February 1944. It involves this mosquito. This is my wonderfully made model. Um, and you can see why I don't make a living out of painting models. Um, so the usual thing to begin with um, do thumbnail sketches. Very, very simple, um, basic ideas. You see here, just very small things, just to try and come up with an idea of the composition, where the aeroplane is going to be, where the landscape is going to be, where the horizon is going to be, and how it's going to work. So I slowly develop the ideas until I come to one that I really like, and, and this is the one. Now, we've cut out all the boring bits of painting because um, all I've done really is put four coats of grey paint on the background, drawn the aeroplane on, and then filled the aeroplane in with a couple of coats of paint. And so, this is where we are at the moment. Now, as you can see, um, basically, four layers of grey paint, roughly textured to give a little bit of perspective. Uh, I've left the ground completely pale because, you know, that will be put in as and when. And I've put the aeroplane in, you see it's very big, very strong, because I think that's what it needs. It just needs to be a strong, powerful aeroplane. Um, I've put two coats of paint on the aeroplane just to give me the sense of how dark it will be. Um, and that's okay for the moment. And the, the prison itself, I will sketch that in freehand using the perspective of the road, um, but I'll do that later. Right. Last night I um, blocked in the prison, very roughly, just to give an impression of the tone, uh, so that I could work out the, the final tone of the sky. So this morning I worked on the sky. Um, it's quite a simple sky, but it, I darkened this area. Um, lightened this area and put a lot of yellow into it and hazed this off so it's quite hazy and had a, a bit more definition over see, here if you look at the aircraft you can see what i was saying about how there's no point detailing it yesterday because look all the sky paint has gone over many of the details um, because you have to brush it vigorously you can't brush right up to the edge of the aeroplane because it, it would show in the sky so all I'm going to do now then, very quickly, is to mix up some dark, uh, just some basic dark paint. Notice I've got black on the palette. If your art teacher tells you never use black, then you know why he's an art teacher and not an artist. Because you can use any colour you want, it's only a tool. Black, green, you name it, stick it on your palette. There are no rules in painting. And if somebody tells you there are, well, they're not a real artist. Not that I'm a real artist. I'm still pretending, but anyway. So all I'm doing, uh, painting in, again, just roughly, the details of the aeroplane, just to give me the guide of where, it, where everything is. And pop the tail on again just so I don't lose the information because uh, keep putting the paint on the sky and uh, you can easily lose all the background drawing so it's been about two three days um, and most of that time I've just spent detailing the aeroplane and uh, putting extra layers of paint on the prison. We'll go to the aeroplane first. Um, what I do is to uh, roughly block in the, the, the colours and the light, so the light tones, the dark tones, then uh, draw pencil lines in for roughly where the panel lines are, the main panel lines, the undercarriage doors, the engine panels, wing panels, and then just paint them in very simply in a black uh, brush, just 
just to show me where all the details are. Usually at that point you realise that some of the panels or some of the shape is wrong. Um, but you know, I just put those in and, and then slowly you bring them to life by putting highlights on like this, highlights on the machine guns. Again, it's all very rough. It's just to give a visual impression of how it might look. I'll, I'll... It's been a few days since the last update. Uh, really what I've been working on in the past few days is the prison. Um, it's a bit boring working on this because it's a very geometric shape and it's simply a case of um, refining the shape, really understanding the shape of the building from looking at the photographs. This is the stage of the painting where it can get a bit boring, it's a bit dangerous because you've been looking at it for a week and even though you liked it to begin with, now you're getting a bit bored, you know, a bit like marriage. <laughs> But um, don't, don't tell. Um, but you know it gets a little bit boring, a, a bit predictable, and this is a stage where you start thinking mm, maybe I should change things. But I'm going to resist it. I, I'll just get the prison more or less dropped in, and then this picture will come to life when I put the other aeroplanes in, because then it'll give it depth and it'll give it life. So hopefully in a couple of days it'll be exciting again. Remember I said yesterday that uh, this is the dangerous part of the painting when you feel like it's changing something and I said, but I won't. Well, I did. Last night I was looking at it and I was thinking, well, maybe I should just put a bit of movement in the sky up here. Um, so I put, I darkened this off and then I thought, well, actually, maybe if I had a bit of colour to it and a patch of blue because it was a snow showery day so there, it, it was definable cloud it wasn't a haze or anything like that it was a definable cloud and before I knew it this morning I'd covered the entire sky with new paint so you know okay so what I'm doing now as you can see I've lost um, a lot of the mosquito through painting the sky I've just put the cockpit back in a bit um, but now I'm just experimenting with a little bit of light you see down here on the building now because there were sun patches if you if you analyze the photos um, and the film there are patches of sunshine um, appearing on the snow so there were patches of light coming through so what I'm doing I'm just putting a warm haze on this uh, on this roof just to see if it brings it to life a little bit because I think it's what it needs it needs, just needs a little bit of a little bit of light really a little bit of life and colour right it's been about three weeks since the last update and I've done absolutely nothing on the painting do you want to know the reason? this is the reason yes this is Shimek, my lovely son, who started preschool about four weeks ago and three weeks ago decided to bring loads of germs and viruses and illnesses back to the house, didn't you? Yeah? And you bought a very bad throat and gave it to Daddy, didn't you? Yeah. And Daddy was ill for a whole week, yes? And couldn't paint, yes? Are you a perisher? Yeah. <laughs> okay, off you go. So, um... The trouble was that once I'd lost a week, um, this painting lost its slot uh, in so much that I had to finish two other paintings really quickly, which I've uh, tried to get back onto this. It's very hard to get back onto a painting after you've left it for three weeks. Um, what I've started to do is to darken this sky over here, put a little bit of darkness on this side as well, uh, introduced a bit of blue here, but I think that's going. I'm not happy with that, so it's probably going to go. And uh, really just try to get into the atmosphere, get into the feel of it. Um, it's proving to be quite difficult at the moment. Um, there's not a lot of inspiration around at the moment, but yeah, I just need to work on the sky, get it exciting again, and then I can then get back onto the mosquito and then detail the ground and hopefully finish it before Christmas. 
It's been about three days since the last uh, update and the first thing I did was to completely rework the sky um, just because it needed something fresh and, and I need, needed some fresh inspiration so I put a lot more work into the sky and then after that I just sat down and detailed the aeroplane so I started from over on this side and as you can see just went and detailed the whole aeroplane. It's taken about three days to do all this. Um, it's just about finished the detail now. I might go back over it again and really, you know, hyper detail it at the end. But that's enough for now. That's that's good. Right. Three more days have gone by, and a lot of work. Um, Change the sky again, as usual. Um, what I've done with the sky, I've put a lot of more warmth into it. Uh, and I've softened the edges nearly everywhere, taken the darkness away a little bit here, which was too dark, and it's just sort of harmonised it all a little bit more, um, because I think the sky was competing with the aeroplanes and it didn't really need to, so um, anyway, changed the sky, worked on the props, um, still they're not quite finished but they're, they're getting there. Um, put the other two aeroplanes in, so I've got roughly the position of where they're going to be, and then work, started working on the prison uh, What I thought I'd do is just show you how I'm doing this wall. Um, this is the wall in its basic form, just a dark solid lump, and this is it um, after I've painted it. What I'm doing, I, I'm not into painting individual bricks, that's <laughs> I don't get paid enough to paint individual bricks. So what I do is just mix up a, a light brown wash like this and just tap it on. It needs to be quite and wet. And then, before it dries, just drag the brush down vertically with the... not vertical to the canvas, but vertical to the horizon. Like that. Some heavier in places, some lighter in places. And it gives the impression of a texture, which um, is much quicker, as you can see, than painting each individual brick. Um, finished, more or less. I mean, a painting as big as this is never finished. Uh, I could play with it for days and weeks, but uh, I think it's, it's about there. So, what have I done since the last update? Um, a lot, really. Um, and it's the last details that really bring it to life. Such as the telegraph poles and the telephone wires and things down here. Uh, the smoke in the um, courtyard where the first bombs have fallen. Um, the bombs coming off of this aeroplane. The what else have I done? Uh, worked on the landscape using the photographs to try and put everything in that was there. Worked on the cloud a little bit more, um, brought a little bit more blue up here, um, greyed those off a little bit, and over on this side just put a bit of texture into that cloud there, just to give it a bit of interest. I think the main thing is, yeah, it, it shows the, the low level aspect of it, it shows the, the speed and the, and the drama of it, so yeah, at the moment I almost like it, which for any artist at the end of a painting that's not bad, because usually we hate them. At the end of a painting you just don't want to see it again. This one, okay, yep, reasonably happy with it. So I hope you've enjoyed um, watching um, this. Uh, it's not been as disastrous as the first uh, painting I did as a work in progress. Um, this one went reasonably well. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. and. Um, Look forward to seeing you on the next one.